Remember the passion you felt doing that particular thing you always loved to do when you were a kid? Whether it was to laugh or to love or to explore, to play or create. Those passions weren't just you being a kid. They were gifts of clarity. They're the desires of your heart authentically expressed. Hi, I'm Courtney Cole, and this is the Love Freak Podcast, where we remember who we really are and what we've come to this planet to create. It's here we make a choice, love or fear. It's here we choose to vibrationally realign ourselves with the truth of our essence, love. 528 hertz, the love frequency, which therefore allows us to realign with conscious healing, authenticity, and creativity. Don't freak out. This is your true nature. What's up, guys? I'm so, so happy to be back with you, spreading a little love and light into the world. And I don't know about you, but I really feel like we couldn't be starting back up at a better time with the elections happening next week and the world seemingly and just a little bit of chaos. I just feel like there's no better time to be focusing on our inner experience right now so that we can create a more loving, secure, stable situation in our outer experience. Don't you think? I think that's a good idea. (laughs) And if we can each individually choose to cultivate that space within ourselves, extending it into our outer surroundings, we will only spread those good vibes and those amazing frequencies to those that we encounter, raising each other up in frequency and in consciousness. Uh, I mean, the whole sole purpose of this podcast is to align with love so that we can spread the love, right? This season is going to be so great, you guys. There's going to be interviews with people that will inspire you. They will challenge you. uh, They'll meet you where you are. And they'll also nudge you in your forward growth. And I know just by interviewing them and asking them all the billions of questions that I have, uh, they've done that for me. So I'm hoping that they answer a lot of your questions as well. And I hope that this podcast will be the appropriate encouragement that you're seeking in your journey as we grow together through this process. Um, I am so excited you're here, that you're back with me, uh, diving deeper into who we are and reminding ourselves of all that we're capable of. Because honestly, how often do we forget? How often do we view ourselves as powerless uh, when we're really powerful, truly filled with unlimited divine creative power that is source energy you know the energy of all that is that's flowing throughout the universe and all of nature that's also you you are not separate from these things remember in season one when I mentioned that the fundamental element of nature is the atom and then we talked about how every atom is in a constant state of vibration And the rate at which something vibrates determines its frequency. So everything in this universe that we know of uh, on a fundamental level is frequency and vibration expressing itself in physical form. Um, And frequency is really the basis of all creation. It's surrounding us at all times. Like it, it is us. So what I'm trying to say is, and, and I'm not a scientist by any means, I just love it, but Essentially, on a fundamental level, we are all the same. Nothing is keeping us separate. Separation is created by the ego, by the mind. You know, our, our perception of reality and what we think is, and often the denial of what truly is. If creation's created itself with a fundamental essence of oneness, Don't you see what our ultimate essence is? (laughs) It's oneness. When we think of frequency, you know, we often think of like sound, right? Sound travels in vibratory waves, creating particular notes determined by how fast or how slow the frequency of the wave is. So if a wave is vibrating really quickly, it has a really high frequency. It's got high energy, right? And if a wave is vibrating slowly, it has a low frequency or very low energy. Um, you know, and obviously music is frequency. You know how much I love music. <laughs> and and a, it's really a, an array of different frequencies making up this 
composition out of all these collective frequencies. Uh, That's literally such a great explanation of our whole existence because literally everything is of a particular frequency because everything is vibrating. Do you feel me? Like you are vibrating energy in this physical form and so am I and so is the chair you're sitting in and so is the food you just ate and so is the entire planet and this entire universe. We are truly living amongst one of the greatest musical compositions of all time, you guys. And we're participating in it by being ourselves. We're helping write the song. And what a beautiful imprint we can leave on this world by adding to the expansion of this creation, by being authentically ourselves. And how beautiful of a song could it be if we all just choose to resonate with the ultimate truth of our essence, which is that oneness, this high vibrational state of pure love. Well, how do we do that? <laughs> that that seems great in theory, right? But how do we do that? And I think ultimately it's a process. Um, it's a dismantling of all the truths that we've come to understand and challenging them against that fundamental truth, that oneness. Do your belief systems, do your programs and your ideologies and your fundamental teachings align with this ultimate truth of oneness? And if it does, then hold tightly to those treasures and then replace the other ones with this truth. And I've kind of outlined a few steps um, that have helped me in this process and, and hopefully they'll help you. And, and so I think, number one, I think we have to remember who we are on that fundamental level. So remembering ultimately that we are all the same, fundamentally at the core. We are all of the collective oneness because of who of what we are energetically scientifically it's a togetherness a wholeness a love that is our true nature we are nature and number two we have to start to know and understand what it feels like within our bodies when we're not in alignment with that oneness when we are in denial of that fundamental truth of who and what we are. Uh, I, read, I read this book by uh, my favorite author. Uh, his name's Paul Selig recently. And it's said in this book, uh, it's, it's called Alchemy, by the way, if you want to look it up. But it says, God is all things. Fear must be present as God, but fear denies God. So it knows itself as separate. And I love that. Um, So if God is all things, even the fear, even the hate, but fear and hate are that of the ego that creates duality and it knows itself is separate. It denies what is. It denies the oneness, the love. Do you want to know why fear and guilt and shame and, and blame and hate et cetera, et cetera, feel so awful. Do you want to know why? It's because they aren't authentic to the oneness, your true nature. They know themselves as separate from. And do you want to know why, why compassion and grace and joy and honor and peace and love and hope in understanding, you want to know why those things feel so awesome when we authentically receive it? It's because they resonate with your truth. What is authentically you? And then number three, we have to begin to maintain our high vibrational alignment by releasing the things that keep us separate from it. So whether that's the low vibrational foods and chemicals that we ingest, that we put into our bodies, uh, the emotional state that we allow ourselves to resonate in by letting fear and anger and hate consume us, um, or by the beliefs that we've come to collect about ourselves and our environment based off of the perceptions and the, the perceptions of others and the perceptions of our experiences. 
And will we revert to our old ways sometimes? Absolutely. Maybe even every day at first. Uh, But this is what the healing process is all about. My boyfriend Mike and I, we've been studying Imago Therapy teachings together as a couple as we kind of move forward and deepen our relationship together. And if you haven't heard of Imago, you really should check it out. It's super interesting. Uh, If you're in a relationship or even not, I mean, just learning to communicate. It's incredible. It's totally an amazing concept and just a beautiful way to really dive deeper into a relationship with someone you truly love and that you're trying to move forward with. It's great. Um, And what we're learning through this process is that, you know, most couples don't know how to communicate. You know, that's a no brainer, like duh, right? Um, But in this particular type of communication exercise, you sit face to face with each other and one person says something that they feel and the other partner repeats it word for word and affirms what the other person said. And and Mike and I have started communicating like this and it feels so awkward because it almost feels like it's very robotic or, or forced. Um, but what you ultimately learn through this is how to listen and to truly hear what your partner is saying and learning to understand them on a deep level. And ultimately the goal is to kind of use this way of communicating as a template and then you can customize it and kind of make it your own, but that it kind of becomes normal after a while to communicate this way, that it doesn't feel forced anymore. It just becomes a natural way of like living and communicating. You know, like it's like practice makes perfect, right? But all this to say, this is the same thing with the healing process and the realignment process. It's going to feel awkward at times. And maybe it will feel uncomfortable or forced. Um, We get so programmed by our culture that believing things against our truth or that oneness becomes normal. So, So obviously questioning what we've been taught feels weird or unnatural because going against our nature is what we've known. That's literally what we've known. But once you keep aligning and you keep seeking, once you continue to challenge yourself and align with what is authentically you, even among the resistance, eventually it'll just become normal. You know, you don't have to keep trying to maintain it. You just set a new precedent for yourself. Do you follow me? So you probably are going to hear me refer to this as the 528 Hertz lifestyle because I really, really think that these are fundamental steps that keep us extremely self-aware in our alignment process. Because there is an opportunity every single second of every single moment to choose oneness, to choose love, to choose to see differently than what the world is telling you to see. And it It doesn't mean that you have to live in this like fantasy world or have this unhealthy, unrealistic, forced, annoying positivity all the time. Like that's so annoying, right? (laughs) Not at all. That's not at all what I'm saying. It's just choosing really to surrender to the oneness and letting those other minor details fall into place because that's what happens when something is in alignment. All the pieces come together perfectly, right? And as we move into this final week of the final election push, which I'm sure we're all just so tired of, but as the divisiveness is permeating our world and people are suffering from sickness and from financial struggles, let's just remember step one of the 528 lifestyle, remembering who we are. We are of a divine oneness at the very fundamental level of life. Nothing is separate. You are my brother and I am your sister. And when you feel the divide and the confusion arising in you, challenge it. Challenge how you respond to those who look, who think, who act, who feel differently than you. And instead of division and judgment, how can you realign with the oneness? How can you set the intention to serve your surroundings in in such a pure way, 
in the purest way that you can you possibly can by showing up as the most authentic version of yourself which is that pure love notice the denial of that love when it comes up in you and how it feels when you respond outside of the realm of that truth, of that oneness. In the Bible, uh, the book of Revelation, it talks about the end times. You know, and a lot of times when things get crazy in the world, a lot of people kind of go to that, you know, oh, Christ is coming again. Um, you know, you have the plagues, you have the natural disasters, the chaos, and then and then there's Jesus coming down in the clouds and, and he's come again, right? And uh, I, I totally respect Christianity and its teachings and all religious affiliations for that matter, truly. Um, but I, I, I do, I view this event like a little different than the literal interpretation. Um, in, in my very, very, very humble opinion, um, the Christ is a consciousness, not just, just one being. And, and the Christ to me is that ultimate oneness uh, that I've mentioned, and it's the foundation of everything. It's an energy. It's a frequency. It's it's pure love. And and the Christ consciousness is available in each of us if if we allow it to come forth. Uh, in Paul Selig's book Alchemy that I mentioned before, he says you don't become the Christ. The Christ becomes you. And I really, really believe that's true. When we give it permission to access our space and let it freely flow through us, you know, we allow ourselves to really become a vessel of the Christ. You know, we have a choice in the work that we do and in all of this work. Well, it, it will never force us. That's, that's free will, if you will. And what I believe is that the Christ is coming again in each of us right now, if we let it. It's come before many times in many people through through other disasters and through hardships and through healing and through dismantling processes and through the struggle. I think the Christ comes again every single time someone gets it, quote unquote, in a sense of finding that true alignment and enlightenment. By really letting go of the denials of the oneness and surrendering to it. And right now, you know, collectively, we are really being shaken as a culture and we're realizing hardcore that our systems and our ideologies, they, they just aren't serving us anymore. And it's, it's happened before and, and the Christ is coming again and people are waking up. And things in the darkness are really, really being brought to light in so many ways. And we're changing. And consciousness is shifting. And it's moving forward. And the Christ, the new level of consciousness, this frequency is awakening in all of us who allow it to be. And it's coming again and again and again and again. And nobody is left behind. Each person is just on their own journey of enlightenment and realignment with this energy. And as the Christ, as it awakens in you, as you realign with it, as it becomes you, you let it overflow out of you in pure love. And, and you're just naturally, when you're in that state, you're giving others the acceptance to be right where they are you let them be where they are and then you be where you are and by being where you are you bring light and awareness to a new existence to a new energy to this new consciousness it's kind of like a sound wave um here i go being a nerd again it's like it's like a sound wave and when a sound wave when it moves through the air each molecule kind of vibrates back and forth. And when it touches the surrounding air molecules, it causes them to vibrate back and forth and so on and so forth. So your frequency naturally affects those around you. You don't even have to utter a word. That's how powerful this energy is. 
when it becomes you, when you allow it. And that's how powerful, not powerless, you are with that power. Gosh, you guys, there's so many great things happening this season. You know, first of all, we have so many amazing guests. And I won't spoil it by telling you who they all are, um, but just get excited because it's really going to be amazing. And they start next week. Um, Some more exciting news. You can now listen to the Love Freak podcast on Spotify. So that's awesome. Um, So definitely go stream it there if you get a chance. That would be amazing. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I'm also excited to announce that I am starting a Patreon service. So, uh, you can go on and there's uh, selective tiers that you can choose and you can dive deeper in the podcast. I know the first tier is uh, $5 and you, you can get little writing prompts, uh, each week. I'm going to start doing, um, also live Q and A's each month and you get access to that as well. Um, among many others, there's several different tiers. So definitely go check that out. I'll put the description in the, uh, or I'll put the link in the description so you can check that out. Um, also, if you're interested in just supporting the Love Free podcast, you can help us keep this thing going each week by leaving a donation. There's also going to be a link in the description for that as well if you'd like to help out. Um, and you can also leave me an audio message there. So that's neat. I would love to hear from you. Um, Keep aligning, my friends. Uh, Season two is beginning right here, right now. And I'm so excited to just dive in with you and go deeper. Um, I hope you have a great, great rest of your week. Stay strong. um, Stay true and remember that oneness. And we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode of the Love Freak Podcast. If you like what you heard, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at the love freak underscore. Don't forget that's F-R-E-Q. Or to find out more information, you can go to www.thelovefreak.me. Look for a new episode every Tuesday.